Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Um, so, Jenny and Stig are here. Um, Hurricane Irma, lots of breaking lines on this, in fact, including the first word from Barbuda. Uh, you can see from this map in the Express the areas that have already been hit as Hurricane Irma passes through. And Barbuda, we've just heard that the devastation there is absolute. This is the Prime Minister of Antigua, who's flown in an emergency helicopter, and he estimates the damage at more than $150 million, saying the rebuilding initiative will take years. Years. This is a monster storm system. Absolutely. A monster storm system that's affecting some of the least disaster resilient parts of the world at the moment. And actually, it's headed towards Haiti, which we know is really on its knees when it comes to natural disasters, and also Puerto Rico, which has a much larger population than any of these islands. And, uh, and it looks, you know, there's no sign of it abating. Um, it's massive and must be absolutely terrifying if you're if you're living on those islands. Um, the the Daily Star. I mean, God, we we very rarely talk about the Daily Star on the press mm, preview, but let me go to we it. want to talk about it today, or at least I do, because I think the British public deserve more credit than the idea that we only care about this because Brits and celebs are trapped in the storm. There's a lot of people trapped in the storm. And in fact, the celebs they mention are Mick Jagger, Donald Trump, and Richard Branson, who are hardly the most vulnerable celebs. Richard Branson was tweeting pictures of himself hunking down with his staff in the basement of, of his mansion on Necker Island. And he uses the phrase, I mean, the thing that I, struck me about that phrase, he says it's eerie but beautiful at the moment. And look, he's lived in Necker Island. And I think that was earlier, wasn't earlier, it? I exactly. think it's getting I'm, less beautiful. I'm sure it is, but, but that really jars, obviously, because the phrase, it says something that's beautiful, which he knew when he said that is not is going to cause vast devastation. It's very hard for, for anyone to, who like, like us have never experienced it, but to, to try to try and empathise with someone who who will either face massive traumatic loss of life in their families or homes just simply being removed from the face of the earth. Mm. And that's what this is, is going to happen. So when the guy from Barbuda talks about years and years and years, mm. or it goes to Haiti, where, where the economy has just got no capability to withstand some of this. These will be homes and houses and schools uh, and places where people congregate that will just simply be lifted off the ground yeah. and removed, wiped away. And it's not eerie but beautiful. It's yeah. just tragic and inconsolable. And also, this is, this is only part of it, because whenever there's a hurricane, there is a wind event, and then there is a water event afterwards with mm. flooding and with storms. I mean, this is going to go on for days. And, of course, it's travelling it's travelling northwards, it's travelling towards Florida. We're going to hear a lot more about that, because it's the US. But well, we, we can hear about it now, actually. 25,000 people estimated bumper to bumper, uh, leaving parts of the Florida Keys, and a mandatory evacuation order for visitors yesterday. Mm. Today, for residents as well, in parts of southern Florida. Uh, these are pictures of the... Uh, uh, the uh, US Highway 1, overseas Highway 1, as you can see, bump up and bump as they try and leave. They've still got days to go. Puerto Rico, we understand, the eye of the storm there from midnight onwards. And Puerto Rico. So Puerto a, Rico a, being hit too. And has a very close relationship with America. Yeah. Uh, and yet we, what you'll see happening inevitably is mm -hmm. the American establishment will be concerned about Florida more than it's concerned about those other locations. And, and, you know, Florida is probably quite well equipped to deal with this, although, again, you wouldn't want to minimise it, because although it's well equipped to do it, these people in their cars are leaving their homes, and they hope against hope that when they return, their homes are there, but they may not be. Um, and then, we talked about this before, but the question then arises, is this sort of freak weather event something that just happens periodically in time to human settlements? Or is it something that is part of more extreme climatic conditions that we are now seeing week after week, day after day, happening in a country whose president denies the very existence of human uh, manufactured climate change? He doesn't believe in it. He, he thinks actually building up fossil fuels uh, is more important than anything whatever else. Whatever the cause is, it is undeniable that the climate is warming. So yes. it, it almost doesn't matter if you believe also, in man-made. You need to but, acknowledge the fact of but even, if, but even to try and dignify people who don't believe in it, I mean, just on a very basic common sense is, before mankind was around, there was the, the natural ecosystem going on. What has happened, particularly since the Industrial Revolution, is we have poured 
rubbish and pollution and toxins into every single part of the ecosystem. It is going to have consequences. To argue that it's not going to have consequences yeah. seems to me, at whatever level of science we w want to understand, just, just, just completely bonkers. Well, there is the uh, satellite image of Jose arriving soon after Irma, following the same path, it seems. Mm -hmm. Both hurricanes, it's now a hurricane, travelling at 16 miles an hour. And President Trump himself um, being told forcefully about the impact of all of this. His property on St Martin apparently has been hit. This is the beachfront Chateau des Palmiers, or Castle of the Palms, uh, a gated estate for sale, apparently for 16.9 uh, million dollars, we are told, and currently rented out, and his exclusive Mari Lago resort in the Palm Beach. White, the second the White House. Also so much. sits in the path of the storm. I'm sorry, it was just, I know I this is what people are interested in, but, but this is one house belonging to one man who has a lot of money and can, can afford to repair it. There are so many people... But it people might adapt with... his behaviour of what he does in terms yeah. of But the thing, the thing that's interesting funds, for me, for though, about this is Houston. I've been to Houston. Yeah. People in Houston really don't believe in man-made climate change and they love oil and they love cars. I've been on highways in Houston which are, have 11 lanes going in each direction. They really believe in it. Is this experience going to change anything for them? for them? I don't think so. I don't think this is what people in America are necessarily talking about right now. But what, what will actually happen, it's interesting you make this point, you know, we, we saw with, with something like Grenfell Tower where you have uh, some people suffering from unimaginable poverty within the, an environment that's very rich. It's actually very similar to the part of the world we're talking about. These are holiday resorts mm. for the vulgar rich. Mm. Lots, so lots of big American celebrities, Richard Branson being a really good example of the vulgar rich in this country, will have massive pads you know, full of uh, unbelievable luxury. Mm. But, but, you know, down the road, there will be people mm. living in poverty for whom this type of event can be so destructive that there is literally nothing to rebuild. I mean, whatever happens to a big place like, like, like Trump's or, or Bran Branson's, that's fixable. If your house ceases to exist, it's not really fixable. It's not like you're going to, you can rebuild that. And that process will take years and years, as this, this guy says. And at the minute, we aren't, we're seeing the images at the very early stage. It'll be two or three days, you imagine, if there's two hurricanes coming. What's yeah. it going to look like next, this time next week when it's calmed and you say the other events happen? Mm -hmm. And then you could be looking... At, at scenes of really unimaginable devastation. Yeah. So 600,000 people, Puerto Rico already without power, uh, 50,000 without water, 14 hospitals using generators, and the eye of the storms, they say, passing over uh, from midnight this evening. So we'll keep an eye on that, certainly. I've been